Hey, I'm Leah D'Amelio with Mahalo Daily. Today we're at Long Beach Airport to learn about air traffic control. Let's go check it out. If directing traffic in the sky interests you, then you might want to consider a career in air traffic control. Established in the mid-1930s, ATC keeps the airways organized in order to prevent collisions and provides pilots with important flight-related information. Although the job can be extremely stressful, working 200 feet above the ground can be quite satisfying. Today, we're talking to ATC Supervisor Olin Downing and FAA spokesman Ian Greger about the ins and outs of air traffic control. Tell me a little bit how the industry is changing. Well, the air traffic control system that we're using today is based on basically 1950s technology, radar and beacons and things like that. And we're in the process of converting that system into a GPS-based system, a satellite-based system, so that air traffic controllers and pilots will be using the same technology that, uh, you know, hikers and, uh, and people in, uh, in cars use today. Olin, tell me a little bit about what a typical day is like for someone who works in air traffic control. Well, basically come in for an eight-hour shift. Uh, you may be working one position for a couple hours and then move on to another. Basically our main responsibility is keeping everything safe out here, keep all the airplanes separated, and uh, you know, just basically a safe atmosphere. How is the new technology going to affect a typical work day for someone working in air traffic control? Well, the basic job is going to remain the same. I mean, the controller's still going to be responsible for keeping aircraft safely separated, but some of the technologies we're moving to are going to involve controllers communicating with pilots a lot more using data link, basically computer-based email type of communications rather than voice communications. Additionally, pilots are going to have the capability to see in their cockpits their relative position compared to other aircraft in the skies and on the runway. So the pilots are going to take over a little bit more of the duty of, of ensuring that they're safely separated from other aircraft. All right, now there's a lot of different monitors in the tower. What is actually being watched throughout the course of a day? Okay, well basically when you saw the clearance delivery position and we have a monitor that shows all our flight plans. We also update the weather. Well, air traffic controllers at this airport are also certified weather observers. Then we had the ground control position with the controller that basically works all the aircraft moving around on the ground. The controller's uh, working all the airplanes and landing and taking off on the runways and in the air. How important is it to have the human element in aviation? We do have certain amounts of technology, but in, in the end it comes to a pilot who's flying the aircraft and an air traffic controller who's telling him which way he needs to go. How long do you think it will take to implement this new technology? Well, we're starting to do it now. You're seeing it all over the country with uh, satellite-based arrival and departure routes into and out of airports. But to build the entire system out, we estimate will take until 2025 and cost upward of uh, $20 billion. What's the best part of the job? Yeah, it's the five weeks paid vacation. <laughs> no, actually, I have to say it's probably the best job you can have where you get paid to look out the window. It's a beautiful thing to be working 200 feet up in the air and be able to look out and see everything that's going on in the world. Well, that's a wrap from Long Beach Airport. For more information, go to mahalo.com slash air traffic control. For Mahalo Daily, I'm Leah D'Amelio. We'll see you next time. <laughs>